Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty, and this is episode 5 of the Black Sunskin Syndicate's Squadron Shootout. That's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> this episode, we've got the, uh... Um, well, it's by Ad Necrius, but I don't know how to say it. Do I solo say un carimbo? I probably butchered the hell out of that. Yeah, sorry. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> and it's got a uh, nice little drill sub here, covered in rams. Got its propellers with its little indenta blades with uh, side uh, intakes. And it's actually got tailplanes? That's interesting. Is that a sub... Maybe that's not a submarine. No, it's gotta be a submarine. It's got propellers. Huh. Got this little single-seat fighter guy here. Then we've got this uh, big ol' airship. And finally, uh, which is the, f this must be, this cruiser must, the cruiser thing must be the flagship. So that is the, that fleet that I can't pronounce by Ad Necrius. And then we've got the Xander Zoo fleet by... I've done did forgot. Oh, and I didn't... This is the one that I didn't write down. Of course it is. So let's check the thing. Oh, by Xander Zoo. <laughs> Xander Zoo fleet by Xander Zoo. Okay, I should have remembered that. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> Which it's got... Uh, Very woody wooden ships. <laughs> With some guns. Little bridges on them. Not a whole lot to see here. Ooh, repair bots on my bot. Got this other one. Very similar. They're kind of plain looking, honestly. I mean, no offense, but uh, the, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to them. And there's the uh, the submarine. There's going to be some sub on sub action here, with a whole bunch of lead down in the bottom. Oh, oh well, this isn't made out of. I was going to say, well, that makes sense because it's made out of wood, but this one isn't. Made oh, wow, that's a lot of missiles. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be quite the missile storm. <laughs> but all right, we're going to go ahead and uh, let me just. Get the phone set up here. And by phone, I mean, uh, you know, the timer. Kind of important there. <laughs> okay, and we will get round one between these two underway. Yeah, see, that's definitely a drill sub. And down in, ooh, bullet spraying out. Wow, that was a lot of bullet. Seemed to completely missed, though. Now here comes that missile swarm. That fighter's almost flying right into it. Ooh, actually some cram cannons. Coming from the the airship there. those land on that wooden ship, those are going to hurt. Oh, man, yeah. Cram cannons and wood. Actually didn't do as much damage as I thought. Oh, because there's metal and heavy armor on the inside. Those are a lot heavy, more heavily armored than they look at, at first. Oh, it looks like this uh, airship is getting slammed by the missiles. Now it's gone out of range of them, but it has also lost the ability to fly properly. Let's go check and see how other things are doing. This cruiser seems to have taken a bit of damage. It looks like it may have lost a gun. Oh no, never mind. It just looked like it was had a big hole in it, but it didn't really. Oh jeez, <laughs> and more missiles! Missiles, missiles, and or those aren't missiles, those are... Are those shells? Yeah, those are shells, okay. 
I thought they were missiles, but because they're so long. <laughs> That's that 13 component requirement there. Things are going nice and smooth, though. I turned down a few of the, the graphic settings and such. Like, I turned down the uh, the trail length on shells. and Checked out a few things to try and uh, improve performance here a little bit. So that we uh, can actually watch these battles a little more easily. Wish I could see what was going on with those submarines. Let's see if I can... Eh, it's super cloudy water. Oh, there's the... Speaking of submarines, um, it's no longer a submarine. It is now an aircraft. <laughs> That's actually really bad for it because I don't know if it can maneuver very well out of the water. And it's probably getting well out of range. Yeah, it's... It's just about out of range here. But it's turning around and coming back, so it'll be good. It hit the water in time. Oh, it seems that the uh, the cruiser here got despawned. But the flagship has been taken down on the the fleet. I can't pronounce by Ad Necrius. <laughs> Is that? Uh, it seems Spanish or maybe Portuguese or some some uh, language of that nature. I'm not sure entirely what it is, but that's that's what it reminds me of, at any rate. Oh, this is the, the uh, airship here. Taking some missile hits. Jet's still down here doing its thing. Dropping missiles off. Or those torpedoes. I think those are torpedoes. Or those mines. I think those are magnetic mines. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. They may be dumb fire torpedoes. Very little ones. Jesus thing puts out a lot of bullets. That is a lot of shells. It seems to do them in a burst fire mode, or it'll fire just a whole bunch of shells and then go into a reload cycle. Oh, having a bit of FPS droppage here. Not too bad. Now that this airship's in the water, it's pretty much a sitting duck. Oh, it's actually despawning. So it looks like... Oh, and the jet, I think, was the only thing left until the guns actually... Oh, jeez! It didn't even get a chance to despawn. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... The uh, Xanderzoo fleet by Xanderzoo has been victorious. I think. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. What happened to the sub? Yeah, there's only three entries left. So, well, that could. They're... Are they still firing missiles? Okay, this is. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm not sure what happened to the uh, the drill sub, but it apparently died at some point. <laughs> so, all right, we'll go ahead and get this restarted. We'll get the second round underway. All right, come out here to make sure I give the submarines plenty of room to play. <clears throat> yep, 
And you can see I, I spawned that in basically right at fleet level. And it, they're kind of high in the air, but that's just the way the spawn stick is built. I'm not going to sit here and fight with that, trying to get everything nice and perfect. <coughs> All right, let's go ahead and get round two here underway. The uh, unpronounceable fleet is a uh, ooh the fl airship coming under immediate fire by that salvo of uh, of uh, a huge number of shells. Oh, what the heck is it firing at now? Is it firing at the spawn stick? That's a silly decision. That spawn stick is, uh... Not big enough to merit being shot at. Oh, but the airship, uh... Taking some missile strikes. Oh, no, the cruiser is under fire from that, uh... That big cannon here again. What is, what is this cruiser called? The BCR-1, I can pronounce that. Yeah, that is definitely the flagship, and it doesn't seem to be uh, targeting. The guns are not targeting. I don't... It has the AIs. The AIs are turned on properly, but they are not aiming. I wonder why that is. What is that? Oh, is that a that is a that's a cram grouping. Okay, down they go. Yeah, well, these ships are more heavily armored than they appear at first. It seems this one seems to have uh, lost its weaponry. I'm not sure what it lost them to. Oh, okay, those are supposed to be missiles. They, I think the missile launcher was just damaged before. <laughs> and there's the drill sub again. It's getting hit by something. I'm not sure what. Let's see if we can watch it and find out what's what's taking this thing down. going in circles right now, but no, it seems to be doing just fine. Oh boy. Now it's going to sail over it. You were lined up almost perfectly for a great drill run and then you flew over it. <laughs> uh, and it seems the cruiser has been destroyed. The BCR-1 is gone. Uh, the ACR-3 is taking some serious damage and is about to die. Just, this is, a uh, The never-ending never missile swarm. They are staggered out and they just fire and fire and fire and fire and fire. I wonder if it is actually never, like, a, is actually never-ending where it's just constantly launching missiles. Oh, and there's that burst fire, uh... First fire gun, but it uh, it actually missed most of its shots. It seems. Oh yeah, this thing's been. It, it's actually uh, the airship here is despawning. So all that's left is the XAR03, which I think is the uh, little fighter guy here. Let's see. Yep. No, the XAR-03. Oh, the, the glutton. Okay, that's probably the submarine. Or the thing that's supposed to be a submarine, but likes to be up in the air.
I mean, it's okay. It's allowed either way because the the only real requirement is that you have a surface vessel and a non-surface vessel, and the flagship is definitely a surface vessel. So this can be a submarine slash airship combo, and it's totally legal by the rules. But I don't think it's meant to function like this because that kind of defeats the purpose of the drill. <laughs> Which has been uh, annihilated, it seems. <laughs> that is a lot of missiles trying to kill that little aircraft. Oh, but they're on its tail. Can it outrun them? Oh, they're gaining. Do they have the fuel? Uh, nope, it doesn't look like they're going to catch them. Especially not if it... Doubles back like that. Oh man! Playing dangerously, little fighter! You're flying dangerously! And now I've lost the submarine again. It's over here somewhere. Er. I'm sure it'll come back out of the water here sometime soon. <laughs> Ooh, it took a hit there. Seems to have survived it though. Still flying. Still operating. Still launching flares, which is really cool. Ineffective against these particular missiles. But really cool. <laughs> so many missiles trying to shoot down this little jet. <laughs> well, it's not really a jet. It's got Deta Blades, but... You know what I mean. This little fighter craft. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just absolutely refusing to die. Oh, yeah, the FO 10C clandestino is the aircraft. And it's just, I am amused as it, at it just dodging these missiles. <laughs> and it seems these guns are trying to get a bead and shoot at it too, but uh, it keeps flying overhead. Oh, oh no, they're going after the, oh, the drill is coming straight up from underneath. Oh, God! <laughs> That's that... That drill is actually doing a lot less da damage than I thought it would. But it has lifted the other ship up out of the water and is just grinding away into it. Oh, and there it goes! It got inside! Oh, that is not good news. For this, uh, for this craft or my computer. Oh, man! It has eaten almost straight through the ship. Damn! I was just curious if it AI did it, maybe, but no. Now they're just kind of stuck together, and it's slowly grinding away pieces and parts. Well, not so slowly. That thing is just... Nom, 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 nom. Oh, something exploded there. Oh, and the explosion... Holy crap! Utterly annihilated both vessels. I have no idea what just went up. But it was something huge. And, uh, and they're both despawning now. Oh, and that is it. Uh, the air of course, as soon as I stop watching the airplane, it gets shot down. 
The only thing left is the Mr. Glub Club. Everything else has been destroyed. <laughs> so the uh, the submarine of uh, where is it? It's over here. Okay, I thought it was the other direction. The submarine of the Xander Zoo fleet, Mr. Glub Glub, is the only survivor of round two. Everybody else died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's the timer. But anyway, congratulations, Xander Zoo. You're going on to round two. You are victorious in this first game, or in your first match here. Uh, condolences, Ad Necrius, your unpronounceable fleet uh, has been defeated, but you're going down to the secondary bracket. You'll get another shot of things. You're not going away just yet. But uh, this was an interesting episode. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too, and I'll see you on the battlefield.